Hi, mga te! Welcome back to my channel. Here I'm gonna do another breakfast on a different plate because someone used my plate and they didn't wash it. So here um, I am heating up the pot with some organic, oh no, not organic, but extra virgin, um, extra virgin what? Extra virgin um geez i can't even remember extra virgin oil what oil was it avocado oil there we go and then um i'm just um 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 i am sauteing 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 my asparagus and a fact about asparagus when you eat that you get very smelly urine I guarantee you, after eating that, if you go for a, to the toilet or go for a pee pee, your urine has that disgusting smell. So don't say that you got UTI, it's just because you had asparagus. There you go. So um, I'm just getting my quarter or one fourth of my avocado ready so we can plate that. And while we're sautéing the asparagus, um, let's knife, knife, slice, let's slice our avocado into a fanning style. And then we're going to plate that. So as you might see, I keep on putting my fingers in my mouth because I don't want to wipe it off anywhere because come on, food is food, food is life. You paid for your product, so you better just lick it and eat it so it's worth the money <laughs> just joking anyway um for today's breakfast i got i couldn't find anything interesting else for the plate but i found um some frozen berries in the freezer so we're not going to cook that we're just going to put it on the side it will thaw itself so you might see the plate on the left there that is um, the frozen berries that I have. So see, that's the plate that I have for today because the plate that I always use is still in the sink and it wasn't washed. So I always use the one that has a border on it, the blue border. It's a big plate. So this one's just a small one. So here I am cracking the egg. I am actually frying an egg this time. I always poach or steam the egg. But today, um, I just decided that I can't be bothered getting water and putting vinegar in it. So after sautéing that asparagus, I just used the leftover oil and um, I'm just going to fry the egg. So frying is not good for you, but um, still consider it a little bit healthy because the oil I'm using is extra virgin avocado oil. And I don't put much that makes the egg float. So it's just enough to, um, what do you say? Just enough to, um, to cook the bottom of it. There we go. And might as well you put the lid on, especially if you're using Salad Master. Because with a Salad Master, it heats the whole pot up. So possibilities, um, not possibilities, but um, more likely it gets cooked on the top because the whole pot heats up. Aside if you're just frying, you really need to turn it around. I mean, turn it over to cook the other side. But because I'm using a pot, it's all heated up throughout the whole pot, if you get what I mean. So that's, there's, that's why um, the top of it will get really, really cooked. And as you notice as well in my vlogs or videos, you always notice my essentials for my breakfast is either I have my Himalayan salt or chili flakes, or if it's a non-cook, I normally have chia seeds, coconut flakes, um, honey, uh, peanut butter, anything that I can put as a top, but most most of the time, I always have my chili flakes because it helps for your bowel movement. And it's good for your digestion as well. So here I'm trying to um, take the egg out 
of the pot which I was uh, struggling. So I had to put the handles. By the way, Salad Master has removable handles. If you just um, want to swap it over to a different pot, a Salad Master pot, or um, what you call this, other cookware that they have, you just have to take the handles off, put it on another one, and there you go. You've got um, very um, handy handles, you just take them off. So um, I think I've got some toast there going. I can't even remember what bread it was, but it would be bread. So I don't eat rice. Well, I do eat rice in respect of if I go to a party, but I don't eat much, I only eat a little bit. But most of the time I'm eating more bread. Someone told me that bread is more higher carbs and whatever, but you know what, the bread that I eat, have all of these seeds, seeds, um, wheat, anything that has high in fiber. That's most of the bread that I've been having. So um, yeah, it's not as much as the rice that you eat because I really get constipated with rice. So um, I'm plating that. That's the berries that I was just talking about. So they are frozen. So they're mixed berries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, whatever has the berries in it that's what I'm putting in there they, I actually have that packet for um, making smoothies but then I didn't like the smoothies as much as just eating it so all right here's the egg see how it was cooked so I'm flipping it over even if I didn't turn it around it's just in the pot so it really cooked the top of it from the pot so there we have it Good. If you guys are going to ask me what camera I use, um, I have nothing fancy, but nothing to um, brag about, but I'm just using my iPhone 8 to vid take videos, photos, just my general phone. So, um, yep, I just position it on a um, big tripod that I use for my old DSLR camera, and then from there, I take um, videos and... Um, do the vlog for you guys so um i have no fancy camera because i don't want to buy one because i can use my phone but the only trouble is with you use your where when you use your phone is um it eats up a lot of space especially because my phone is only a 64 gigabyte one so um yeah so the quality is still good though you can't really tell that it's just an iphone but hey come on it's still good though you can still see me it's For my non-Filipino followers or subscribers, um, let's do a, a learning Filipino word. So today I might let you learn the word let's eat in Filipino. So, or we'll say Tagalog word of let's eat, which is kain na. So kain na. So that's for the Tagalog. If we go for a Bisaya word to say let's eat, it will be mga onta or ka onta. So that is mga onta or ka on na. So it's pretty easy. I actually change my um, accent when I speak Filipino.
with these mixed berries or mixed frozen berries they're actually good when if you use it as a smoothie because they're in, incorporated but when you eat them on a loan like this you really require um, require some sweetness in it a little bit because because they're frozen uh, they are ripe but it doesn't really give you that sweet taste and like if you pick it straight off of the tree or the plant so i had to put some honey just to make it a little bit more better Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment down below if you like these types of videos. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Diazipamilicious. Thank you for watching. Bye.